Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed, February 12, 2015, 11.33 p.m. Birmingham, Alabama. And topic, um, oil and America's future problems. And the uh, best way I can put that, but I believe what we're going to experience, we're going to experience in the majority of it in 2015. Uh, first, if the oil problem is not bad enough, and I think that's going to hit, and um, I believe the problems we have with our back door being open, our southern borders, and the illegals coming across, you also have a door opened at some of the major airports. New York is one. Atlanta, I believe, is another, and there's a private door for the Muslims, certain Muslims that come into this country, where they're expedited quickly without going through all the stuff that you and I go through if we were to fly, customs and things like that. Um, that hurts, and then... FBI not being able to keep up with who goes overseas, what they do when they're there, and where they do, or what they do when they return. They said that there's just there's too much for them. They don't have enough manpower. And I I did a blog on this weeks and weeks ago. And um, but let me tell you in a nutshell. Here we are. We're February right now, twelve. Come, and uh, April the 4th is the next blood moon. And again, this will mean something for Israel. It will probably end up being as, you know, kind of like it has been. The battle continues, but each time this happens, Israel is, is getting a leg up on their enemy every time. Israel won't fall. They'll never go down from where they are. They'll always go up where they are. Um, but the one that bothers me is after that on May the third, on May the thirtieth. I'm sorry, 2015 is a solar eclipse. When you have a tetrad, four blood moons, all on feast days, and between the blood moons you have a solar eclipse. That is a judgment coming to the nations that went against the Israeli country or Israel. And uh, we could have something bad happen, real bad happen here around that day. It could be before, it could be a little bit after. But if that's not enough, we have a harbinger. This harbinger will fall on September 11th, 2015. A lot of people say it'll be all over for us by the 13th of 2015 on September. Well, there's another one behind that. You have the fourth blood moon, except this one is going to be a super moon. It's going to be 14% larger. It's going to be seen only in Israel and the close proximity to Israel. Europe won't see it, we won't see it, Russia won't see it. So it'll be the immediate area around Israel where they'll see, they'll see the blood red moon. The other countries will see a, a super moon, but they won't see it as blood red. Um, and then it gets worse from there. You have the predictions made by a rabbi hundreds of years ago. And they came true. He said that Israel would become a nation, and they came a nation on the not only the day, but to the hour of that day that he predicted. Not only that, he said Israel would become a stronger nation or a fuller nation, and they did in 1967. He said 1967, and that was a, the Six Day War when they gained all of Jerusalem. It happened. Well, his other prediction, it falls in or on um, 2017. 
He said, then you will see the Son of Man come. Whether that is a rapture or whether that is Christ coming, I don't know. But he's not been wrong. And he's not the only one that made these predictions. But now we have Muslims in our country praying to Allah in our friggin' courts like they did in Florida. You need to look and find that. You can look on the internet. And you can find it on YouTube and, and listen to it. Luckily, and I'm glad he did, the mayor and five others walked out. But four people stood there. I don't ever walk back in the courtroom. Anyway, go on further. Allegiance being handed over to the Pope. And I said this before. Kenneth Copeland kissed the Pope's butt. I'm telling you the truth. He did. He said, Pope, you got it. We, we, we are with you. We are with you. I mean, he just couldn't say it enough. And he's not the only one that said it. The Pope, the Pope is gaining allegiance to the, the so-called, you, you think they were Christians. Christians won't give their allegiance to the Pope. They're not going to do it. Your allegiance is to Jesus Christ. He saved you. The Pope didn't. He can forgive you. The Pope cannot. And the Pope said, and there again, look it up and listen to his words. He said, why do you want to go to Jesus who you can't see? He said, I can, I can forgive you of the sins. You can see me. He said, it's dangerous to expect that only Jesus can do it. He said, I urge you to don't go there. I don't urge you to don't depend on him. Well, that's it. The Pope, to me, is exactly what they said he would be. He'll be lead the leader of the religious world in the New World Order. He will be it. And this is what Tom Horn said, that this last Pope, Peter the Roman, he will be the one who is in reigning or who's in charge when Satan returns, when the Antichrist arrives. And the Pope is paving the way for the Antichrist. Now, quickly, I'm going to run back. The grand plan was the Illuminati. They have a grand plan. And they control all these wars, except I don't think they quite control all of the Muslims. And the reason is, why would they go in and crush the black stone? I don't know. But I think the Illuminati paved the way for Satan to come, and they did that. They made everything work the way it should. But all of a sudden, there's a monkey wrench thrown in there that kind of disturbs things for the Illuminati. And I don't think they counted on it. I don't think it's going to hurt them, but I don't think they counted on it. And that's uh, an agenda that Iran has to put the Shiites in there and destroy the Black Stone in Mecca so that they can become the new religious leaders of the Muslim world. That's what it's about for them. About for us, we need to look at who's in charge of us. I ask you again, I don't know if I said this recently, but is it safe for you to die? What if you were to die tomorrow? Are you safe? I mean, safe. Where's your soul going? It is going somewhere. I promise you, your soul is going to one of two places. I wouldn't take the chance, not even think about it. Jody Wolf exposed.